Hello, this is TT Lemon bringing you another video from the Snapshots. And recently I saw Chartru's K or Pearl Paris's known video on the one wide instant knot gate, which was very small. And then Magix commented on his video this design here, which is even smaller than that. And I was looking at this for a while and I managed to compact it some more, so this is going to be a tutorial on that. Also, I'm I did unstitch the OCD texture pack for this and made these nice um, redstone blocks that slowly pulsate, which I think is quite nice. I might do it on some other blocks and show people how to do it if you're interested. Anyway, this is my design. It's 4x5. It, the inputs have to come in a bit slower than that one, but I'll show you how to fix that in a bit too. So, it works by... Turn the sound down. So they deafen you. Right. When I pull this lever, you have your input coming in here. Just pop that on. And that comes in there. This immediately pushes this piston down, which basically instantly pushes that redstone block out of the way. So this instantly depowers. Pretty simple. And then in some amount of ticks, however long it takes a piston, two pistons to push out. This will come down and block that, just in time to stop this four tick repeater letting the signal through. And that is, a, and this four tick repeater here is essential for the uh, turning on of the output. That's another thing about this design: the input and the um, output are s sort of different levels, which isn't particularly too good, but. It's okay, I suppose, if you're putting in long, long lines and things like that. Anyway, that bit is relatively simple. This is on, but that's blocked it. And turning off, this is going to instantly retract, which is going to instantly retract that block, which can instantly make this turn off, which is then instantly going to let the signal through. Obviously, instantly turning input back, uh, output back on again. And then, if I did that without this repeater here, see like that, it would take the time that this piston takes to bring the redstone block back up to turn the output on. So with this repeater here, what it does is it holds the signal on, as that does that, just enough time for this to get back to here, if you understand that. And it has to be four ticks, not two ticks, because of how long these blocks, these two pistons take to extend. So how on two, you'll see it makes this spaz out a bit, look. So have on four, instantly turn off, instantly turn on. If you don't like the fact that that could happen if you put in a too fast input pulse, you can simply just bring a line across here like that, and though it's one block taller, you can reduce this to two and have much faster inputs of time in between changing the state of the input, which is pretty good. So yeah, I'm not sure what my next video is going to be, it's probably something else that I've made in the snapshot because I'm really liking the snapshot. I like all the features. The things with the buds and stuff, I'm not too worried with that because a lot of things have got work, good workarounds and it's actually proved helpful in some designs, I think. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been TT Lemon.